Hello, friends. Welcome. Good to be with you again. Coming to you from the St. Rita Shrine Chapel in Chicago. Today, the last Sunday of our liturgical year, the Solemnity of Christ the King. And let us continue to pray for peace in our world, which so much needs it, for our peace in our hearts, all those on our prayer list, those who are in need of prayer for healing, and those of our beloved who have died. And of course, we always continue to pray for vocations. And we pray in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne, and all the nations will be assembled before him. And he will separate them one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me. In prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of the least brothers of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you accursed into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. A stranger, and you gave me no welcome. Naked, and you gave me no clothing. Ill and in prison, and you did not care for me. Then they will answer and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or ill or in prison and not minister to your needs? He will answer them, Amen, I say to you, what you did not do for one of the least ones, you did not do for me. And these will go off to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Friends, this Gospel, when it talks, Jesus is talking about the righteous. The righteous, the way I look at that, is they're the ones who just do what they're supposed to do. And it doesn't become something out of the ordinary or something special. That's why they're confused when Jesus is saying, you did all these things for me. And they said, Lord, when did we do those for you? And he said, when you did them for the least of my brothers or sisters, you did it for me. That's what it means to be righteous. It's not to be bragging or thinking we're better than everyone else but it's to do what we're called to do as children of God, as Christians, to follow the golden rule of love God and love your neighbor as yourself. And the ones who did not help anyone else, they also went to Jesus and said, well, when did we see you needing all this and not us doing it for you? And he said, when you did not do it to the least of my brothers, you did it to me. And so, friends, how are you and I trying to live out the gospel message of Jesus Christ? How are you and I letting Jesus show us the way? How are you and I being faithful? And not in some big, showy way, but just doing what is right. When you and I do what is right, we are doing what Jesus wants us to do. And that's when he will then call us the righteous. Be your best, do your best, don't give up, and keep him your center. That's the beauty of today's feast, Christ our King. Jesus who is the King of the world, Jesus who is our King. You know, a lot of times we don't really talk about kings or queens in our country. You know, we think that's something like over in England or whatever. But the King is the one who is the king of righteousness, the one who shows us the way, the one who loves us, the one 
who is there for us. And so Jesus truly is our king. But he's a king that loves, a king that takes care of. Not a king that lords it over, but a king that is inviting, that wants us to be with him. And so as we celebrate this, the end of our liturgical year, and the new year begins next Sunday with the first Sunday of Advent, let us be grateful for all that Jesus has given us. Let us truly strive to be righteous. Let us strive to never give up. And let us strive to always keep Jesus our center. And the best way we do that, friends, is through the celebration of the Eucharist. The Eucharist, which is the real presence. The Eucharist, which keeps us centered. When we do it on our own, you've heard me say this before, good luck. But if we keep Jesus as our center, we don't need any luck. We have everything we need. So let us take care of our brothers and sisters. Let us take care of those in need through our prayers, through our actions. And let us always remember the righteous were the ones who just did what they were supposed to do. They did not blow any horns. They were faithful. The non-righteous were the ones who totally ignored. I hope we'll never be in that category. And so how good it is that we are here. Let's not give up. Let's continue to pray. Let's continue to follow Jesus. And let us always love and live in the love that Jesus gives us. For Jesus truly is Christ, our King. Hope we'll all have a great week. God bless us all. And thank you for sharing this time with me. And may we continue to be righteous. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.